back to business at the ranch. We got a lot of stuff planned. Jaylene and I have some, uh, we have a surprise that we want to do. So I'll leave it at that. All right, guys, you know, like I said yesterday, today is a work day, but it looks like it's gonna rain. So we're gonna take the day off. We're not gonna do anything. Just enjoy relaxing. Just kidding. Um, instead of working here, we're gonna work at my parents' house. So we're gonna load Rusty up. We gotta put the cage on there. Try to load him up. My dad was gonna come out and help, but he's trying to mow and get some stuff done before it rains there. Um, if it does rain here, it hopefully won't rain there. So, Jaylene and I are going to attempt to load Rusty ourselves, and uh, he's a heavy dude. So, this ought to be interesting. So, I have a plan. Let's see if it works. So if you guys know anything about goats, they absolutely love the rain. So now that it's raining, this ought to be fun loading Rusty up and taking him into town. So hopefully we can get this. What's up, buddy? I do get him up. Just make sure he doesn't jump off this way. Come here, bud. If I can't get him in that chute. He's there gone. Go. There you go. Go, buddy. Come on, Rusty, there you go. There you go. Good job, buddy. There you go. Well, that was easy. Not much. Well, maybe the rain helped out. So I think I don't know how bad it rained. I mean, I don't think it's gonna rain anymore. I think he'll enough. survive. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just run into town, and take him in there, and dump him real quick. So see you there. It's raining. Oh, Rusty. Come here, bud. Ready. Come on, Rusty. Come on. He's back home. He's saying, hey, I miss the dog. I haven't seen a woman in a while. I believe I've ever cooked trout. Jared's a trout sniffer. Jared's a trout sniffer. You know what that's from? No. Nacho Libre. Home Alone. She said Nacho Libre. Libre. It's from Home Alone. Buzz calls uh, Kevin a trout sniffer. What does that mean exactly? <laughs> So as you guys know, um, this is that trout we caught when we went fishing. This looks awesome. These fries look really good too. And we got beans. So I'm curious if this is going to taste better than Baffin Bay, what's it called? Seafood. Baffin Bay Seafood Company. And the answer is yes it is. Thank you Les Cobb. Ooh. 
So we're going to see if this is better than the no restaurant. Offense, no offense, Craig <laughs> Alexander at Bath and Bay Seafood <laughs> Company. Your shrimp rocks. But mama can cook. <laughs> yeah. It didn't get burnt. I didn't hear the smoke alarms go off. Isn't that something? It's amazing. So we're doing all right. So, But just like Jared's barbecue, it may look good. Ah! But will it taste good? But we're going to say it did, even if it didn't. <laughs> yep, so we're going to find out. It's good. Taste yeah. test. Look at that. Oh, it looks good. Good stuff. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't really convinced with that. You taste it. I'm still not convinced with your your wording here. That's a real man's plate right there. My throat's still slightly sore, so eating this crunchy fish is probably not gonna feel good. But it tastes good, so it's worth it. Excuse me, sir. Where's your salad? I don't want like a salad or nothing. So we are leaving town. We came into town to buy a weed eater. Because Jaylena broke the other one. You guys really think I weed eat? But yeah, it broke. So we came in town. We got a new weed eater. Weed eater. And then uh, we need something to eat that's off grid. So we got some off grid little Caesars. And then I don't know if it's going to keep raining or what. It's been raining a Hard. Like, and, yep, so we insane. we need to uh, get some work done around our parents' house. And my dad mode, we're trying to weed eat, trying to uh, dig a trench to his barn so he can put electric and water and stuff out there. So that's the plan as of right now. If it keeps raining, I have no idea. We'll find out. So since it rained, we're going to take advantage of the ground being real soft. And we're gonna dig a trench from the barn to the house so my dad can have power and water out here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mark a line, start digging. Go. Foot. From. I know, but when I need a line, if not all, it'll start going all over the place. It looks like Mufasa. Not Mufasa. Rafiki. Rafiki. If you ever seen The Lion King, doesn't my dad look like Rafiki? It's Rafiki. Rafiki? Uh -huh. Rafiki. It's Rafiki. 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 And that's how you mark a line. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Digging. You want to see what our uh, backhoe is? Right here. Let's get to work. I've been working on the railroad. Oh, that's soft. I locked it a lot. public service announcement before you start digging make sure to call 811 make sure there's no underground utilities guys it's rather I'd rather you be safe than sorry
since we are in town, of course we stopped by the mail. I stopped by the mail. We stopped by the post office and we got some mail. And this first package is from Colette. Um, this is actually a few different packages, but they're all from Colette. She sent me um, a few pair of leggings and I'm actually wearing a pair right now. And these are so soft and she got a few pink ones and some black ones and they are so comfortable. They are like heaven, heavenly leggings. Thank you Colette for that. And also she sent a ton of movies. This entire box is full of DVDs and one of them like this movie i have never seen before and so i'm really excited to watch that and then of course like star trek is one of my favorite movies and there's a ton in here both for jason and i to watch so i'm really excited for all of these movies thank you so much colette for these we are so excited to get all these dvds from you guys thank you so much so another package that we got is from catfish 437 so this is another YouTube channel and they sent us some of their t-shirts, which Jason and I think are super cool. These t-shirts are awesome. And if you guys want to, feel free to check them out. They're actually doing a giveaway right now. So check out their giveaway video. And if you want to, feel free to participate in that. Okay, so this next package that we got, this is from, this is from one of our amazing subscribers who would rather not be named. You know who you are but they bought us a knife set so thank you so much for this because we don't have any knives um at the ranch if you've seen some of our videos where we're cooking or anything we're using our pocket knives <laughs> so so thank you so much for this we love it and we're excited to use it so our next package is last but not least it is one of two parts i believe of a package this is from julie Highston. high stand I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I think it's high stand. But she sent us some awesome little crocheting um, like cup holder or cup coasters and pan. What are these called? Pan pot holders or um, when you're cooking and you don't want to put your pot straight onto your surface of your counter. You can use these for that so it doesn't burn through. And then of course these awesome little coasters. They're kind of sparkly. I really like these. These are adorable. And she sent some to us and she sent them some to Mom Crocker as well. And so on Mom's behalf, she said thank you very much. And on ours, thank you very much. And she also sent something to Jared in this package. So we'll have to forward this to him. I won't open it on camera so that Jared will be surprised when he gets it. She sent us a little strainer spoon. And this is awesome. I don't think we have any strainers. So this will definitely come in handy when I'm cooking. These, uh, she sent a little owl hook and a bottle opener. And I think we might actually put these on the camp house. These would be perfect as some outdoor decor. She sent us this cute little picture. And then she also sent me a wallet. And she sent us a bunch of work clothes. So she sent us some t-shirts. This t-shirt that I'm wearing, the t-shirt that Jason is wearing today. She sent Jason a couple of pairs of khaki cargo shorts. Uh, he was wearing one pair earlier today, but I think right now he's wearing his uh, work pants. And then she also sent us some pillowcases. And we actually don't even have pillowcases. And so these will definitely be used. She sent Jason some, this one that has some airplanes on it. Definitely his his thing with the World War II. Um, and then she sent me this one. And it's got cats on it. And I actually thought this was a t-shirt at first and I got really excited to wear it. But it's, it's a pillowcase, but I'll definitely use it. And this will probably be my most favorite pillowcase ever. So thank you so much, Julie. I know that you said you have another package coming. So we look forward to getting that and we will definitely send this to Jared for you. And thank you so much for everything that you've sent us. This will all come in handy. And we're so thankful and so grateful to all of you that help us out and send things to us. It absolutely blows our mind and we really appreciate it. So we're trying to dig this, but as you can see in here, there it is roots all down because we're underneath the tree and the little uh i don't even know what you call it little 
little my, my little backhoe only digs so good and then you gotta go back with the shovel but I have like no energy because I haven't eaten anything this all all week I haven't really drank anything all week because my throat so I just don't really have the energy so I'm just trying to get from there to here and probably uh, call it good for right now and then come back and finish it because uh, my dad needs power he needs water out here because that's his man cave and my mom wants him in his man cave so this is more for my mom than my dad so tomorrow uh, Jaylene and I have to go to uh, Corpus. We're getting our teeth cleaned. I have not got my teeth cleaned in many years. My uncle is uh, our dentist, and so he said, come in, I got you. So we're gonna go up there. So we're not gonna be doing a whole lot of work. But don't think we're not gonna put out an awesome video because I got something I think you guys are gonna love. It's gonna be a throwback Thursday of old footage that I found from I don't know, probably five, six years ago, if not longer, of us at the ranch. And I'm gonna, sh you're gonna be able to see how different it looks out there, how uh, mowed down it looked, and manicured, and all that. Other than the camp house, the camp house is still old and run down, but everything else looks a lot different. Uh, not even just the ranch, but me and Jared and even Matt and my parents, we all look totally different. You guys are gonna freak out, and uh, my mom and dad probably kill me if I showed them. So we may not show them all that much. But you guys know Jared. And if you know Jared, I have an ending tomorrow's, for tomorrow's video. You guys are going to crack up. So make sure to watch it and all the way to the end. And you guys are going to love it. Jared has not changed a bit other than his looks. So stick around for tomorrow. It's going to be a really cool throwback uh, video that I'm excited about. And then once we get our teeth cleaned and all that, back to business the ranch we got a lot of stuff planned Jaylene and I have some uh I just we have a surprise that we want to do so I'll leave it at that guys we'll see you tomorrow it'll be throwback Thursday it's gonna be awesome but I gotta get back to work so get out of my face so as always you guys thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today and a special thank you to WeBoost because they are the reason that we are able to upload this video and every other video from this day forward out on the ranch so thank you so much to we boost i don't know where we would be well i do know where we would be without them we'd be where we have been and so it's amazing having we boost out there thank you so much and thank you guys for always sticking and hanging out with us and subscribing and liking our videos and now we can go live at the ranch more often so we're really excited about that and we will see you tomorrow